you, gentlemen, for yielding, and I rise in opposition to the measure. During the debate on the rule on this measure, uh, Joplin, Missouri, was mentioned uh, quite often. But I would mention uh, that there is an emergency as far as Tuscaloosa, Alabama is concerned, Hamburg, Iowa is concerned, Cairo, Illinois, Field, Massachusetts, certainly Josp Joplin, Missouri, Smithfield, Mississippi, Williston, North Dakota, states like Vermont, subsequent to the rains and floods of this spring, uh, we've had earthquakes, we've had wildfires, we've had hurricanes. The current need of the Army Corps is about $2.257 billion. So the first observation I would make is the offsets uh, that are set aside in this bill are certainly inadequate to, to cover that amount. But there is a further emergency in this country, and that is the fact that as of August of this year, there were 13,967,000 Americans who were without work. In the year 2000, 8% uh, of the people who live in the great state of Indiana were living in poverty. Today, 16% of the people in the state of Indiana are living in poverty. And for those we represent who are working today for one hour's worth of their labor, they're making 53 cents less today in real purchasing power than they did in 1977. Today, there are 6,643,000 less Americans working in manufacturing, making a living wage, than there were in 1977. So the response is, let's take $1.5 billion out of an investment account where there are still 10 pending applications to try to make cars in this country more efficiently, more fuel efficient, and more desirable for consumers. But earlier tonight we heard, don't worry, the Chinese are going to help our car companies with financing. I'm affronted by that possibility. That's why we need this $1.5 billion, so maybe we could still make cars in the United States of America without the help of the Chinese government. I think this is a wrong-headed approach. And then let's pile on. There's obviously a controversy about a solar company in California. I think perhaps it is a matter uh, to be considered not only by oversight in the United States Congress, but the Justice Department. But that's not a decision for us to make if wrongdoing has occurred. But you know what? Let's take it out on somebody else. Let's make sure there's not money available for other legitimate companies who are trying to increase jobs in this country and who are trying to reduce our dependency on foreign oil. That wasn't the response I saw in this body in 2008. We had the major financial institutions of this country drive our economy into the ground. Did we ask them to give back their tax advantages? Did we punish them in any way? We gave them money. We gave them money. We should at least pick on somebody our own size. We didn't ask anybody in Iraq or Afghanistan whether or not they needed an offset for emergency money for schools, for hospitals, for bridges. The people in Joplin, the people in Vermont, the people in these other communities, they need our help now. Traditionally, we have recognized the emergency, we have declared the emergency, and we have helped them out. And when Bill Clinton was president of the United States, we declared emergencies like this on three occasions in 1998, 99, and 2001, and we balanced the budget. I oppose this measure. 